Welcome back to Thursday's Good Day Sun Law. Katie Hirsch from the Alexandria Zoo is joining us now along with Speedy. Speedy the box turtle, Speedy yeah. Speedy the box turtle. Hello, Speedy. <laughs> Uh, I've been watching Speedy this entire time, and he lives up to his name. Yes, yes. <laughs> if I was to put him down on the table, he would be walking himself right out of his shot right now. Box turtles are one of your faster uh, turtle groupings. Most turtles like to spend time in water, but box turtles t tend to spend most of their time on dry land, so they are much faster on their feet than other species are. Yeah, he's, he's definitely a fast one. He <laughs> All right, well, actually, so the reason we have Speedy here today yeah. is because there's a celebration going on this week at the zoo. Yeah, so we are bringing back our Langyap event days. This is 2023 is the first year post COVID that we're able to host our Langyap series again. And these are little event days throughout the year. They're not a full day's worth of events, um, but just a little something extra for our visitors. And World Turtle Day has already happened this week, and we will be celebrating World Turtle Day Speedy and all of his cousins this Saturday from 12.30 to 2.30. Speedy is staring at me. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. So that's going to be this Saturday mm -hmm. at what time again? 12.30 to 2.30. Okay. And most of the activities are taking place in the education pavilion right near our train deck uh, where folks will have an opportunity to meet ambassador animals like Speedy up close in person, complete a craft. And then we also have keeper chats throughout the zoo at our different tortoise exhibits and turtle exhibits that folks can find out more about our resident turtles and tortoises. Okay, and then you'll also have World Otter Day coming yeah, up. Yeah, so that's the following weekend, I believe June 3rd, and we'll be celebrating World Otter Day uh, first thing in the morning with uh, discovery carts and keeper chats. Okay, I love otters. I've always wanted to swim with them. And they are beautiful animals, yeah, they and are. they just look so majestic as they swim yeah. through the water. Oh, look, there's one right there. Oh, how adorable. <laughs> well, one of the biggest reasons that you are also here today is Kids are officially out of school. It yes. is summer. That means it is summer camp time. That it is. And it's just around the corner for the zoo. Each year we host our summer safari camp. And it is uh, this year going to be four weeks in June and two weeks in July. So six weeks total. Each week welcomes two camp sessions in. We uh, host camps for kiddos that have recently graduated kindergarten up through uh, some of the eighth grade. Okay, and so this is going to be the summer safari, and registration is open now yes, for it. Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. So if you visit our website and go to the education section, and the, in that drop-down menu, you'll have the option to visit uh, summer safari. You can register online, download the application to fill it out in person, and we've been so lucky this year through the generosity of Next Era Energy Resources. They are funding 10 camp scholarship positions. So for individuals who might be facing financial challenges, but their kiddos are passionate about animals, this is your opportunity to um, potentially get a scholarship for your child to attend camp. Okay, and so what is the, I guess, criteria for the scholarship? Is it something they just yeah. sign up for? So the application is on the website as well for the scholarship specifically, and we utilize uh, families who are eligible for SNAP as our criteria. So okay. if a family is eligible for SNAP and has SNAP for the 2023 year, um, they should definitely take a look at the scholarship program okay yeah. all right and so you've uh, we've got the prices up here for um, for the summer safari as well is there a deadline to register so for summer safari uh, camps are filling up so I definitely recommend getting your applications in sooner rather okay. than later uh, but if we have spots open, uh, we will happily take late registrants up until the Friday before. So okay. if when you go onto our website, if you click on the link and there's still spots open, we'll be taking them up through the Friday before okay. camp starts. Yeah. Okay, so it'll tell you when you go there if there are spots open. Yes. Okay, awesome. There's always so much going on at the Alexandria Zoo. <laughs> there is, but we <laughs> like staying busy and having so many folks come out to visit us for all these different activities. Absolutely. So what is one of the things that you're most excited for, I guess, with this summer camp coming? up Ooh. you know I love my arts and crafts mm -hmm. <laughs> and so uh, some of the our campers get opportunities every single day to meet our animals up close and in person and speedy is one of those animals that kids get to meet up close now mm -hmm. some of our older campers they get to um, participate in some special activities and one of those activities is arts and crafts with uh, some of our ambassador animals like Speedy. Mm. Speedy is an excellent artist. 
And so the older kiddos, as a part of their camp, we might get the opportunity to paint with Speedy. And we use uh, non-toxic washable paint, mm -hmm. and Speedy gets to express his inner artist and <laughs> use his feet to move the paint across the page. And that's a special um, memento that the kids get to take home with them. I can only imagine, as much as Speedy is moving right now, <laughs> what his artwork would look like. He is one of our better <laughs> artists. Some of our other animals, like some of the snakes, are, are, we have to help them through their art and express themselves but Speedy is great at expressing himself. Oh that is so awesome. All right well Katie anything else going on at the Alexandria Zoo that you want to highlight? Like I said I know there's always a lot going on so. <laughs> yeah there's always stuff going on. If you're curious if you're missing out on an activity at the Alexandria Zoo the best thing to do is visit our website where all of our current activities and upcoming events are available or follow our Facebook page mm -hmm. um, because we are always posting the events on there. So those are the two best ways to stay up to date on all the different activities going on at the zoo. All right, sounds awesome. Sounds like you're only gonna have a really fun summer. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Well, Speedy, thanks thanks so much for joining us this morning too. Yeah, he says thanks for having me. I love how you stop moving when I talk to you now. You were just moving so much. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm speaking to a famous person. He's awestruck. <laughs> Look at Speedy, I love him. Katie, thank you so much again for joining us this Thanks morning. Thanks for having us. And we've got more to come here on Good Day Sun Law. Stay tuned.